let's move on to our next topic here. Mm-hmm. Um, we like to rag on Nintendo a little bit because they make some weird business decisions. And, of course, here we are at a, another overpass where we could be venturing into new bad business decisions on Nintendo's part. Uh, Gordy. Potentially. What is the potential rumor that is at hand right now? Now, before I get into it, I do have some gripes, so Gripe away. keep that in mind. Oh, I'm ready for it. But here's the raw of it. Uh, and I'm actually just going to read this. Uh, um, NX using cartridges is what you have in the notes. Mm-hmm. That's because that's what they're saying. What do you say next in the notes? I say an, a NeoGAF user. I mean, I'm not going to read no, that. No, re- read this right <laughs> here. Oh, it says fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that note was for you. Yeah. No. Um, Okay, so there's a lot of different uh, talks right now from numerous different camps in the industry that are saying, oh, Nintendo's NX is going to go back to using cartridges. What the fuck is that all about? Um, Now, what kind of proof do we have for this? Well, there's some pretty damning evidence. Uh, So a NeoGAF user, which, of course, take with some salt because the GAF, Mm -hmm. but one of the users was doing some investigating via the U.S. trademark system, and in that trademark system, they found the trademarks for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which we know is going to be a dual launch for Mm -hmm. the Wii U and the NX. And in that um, trademarking system, they have it trademarked, targeted for both the Wii U and the NX, produced both in disc and cartridge form. And that's through the U.S. trademark office. So Mm -hmm. that's curious. Why would they want to trademark a disc and a cartridge form? Well, it would seem, since the Wii U does not use cartridges, that their new system would use cartridges. That would be how we would probably break that down. That doesn't make sense from a cost point, because... So... As share, share, share history. So, share some history about the cost of cartridge games back th- in our day. This is kind of... I'm going to kind of double up on it, why I don't think it's a thing. Okay. Oh, so you don't think this is legit? I, I, I could be wrong, and I'll eat my words, but... You'll eat um, something. Mm-hmm. I gotta make this table. What are you doing, I, I'm man? Fucking, I'm suffocating. <laughs> okay. I just so gotta stretch like, out. <laughs> like Thanksgiving back here. You're like undoing your pants like... Uh, like Eli Roth. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Okay. So, um, I think that we would have heard something about it. I mean, they have to start constructing these things. So, what are you going to need? You're going to need factories... Did, was it you I had this argument yes. with today? I yeah. was going to say, I, well, I I've about heard this, this before. <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, they're going to need factories, employees. They're going to have to have some dude running the Juki, some guy doing wire bonding, another guy doing, you know, soldering. They're going to have to have... The fuck is a Juki? What's a Juki? <laughs> it's a, it has something to do with um, PCB boards. Oh. But anyway, okay. it, it it's pre... Who cares? Exactly. Anyway, um, Juking it. So they're going to have to get these PCBs, essentially, and... Pacobies is what I like to call them. Pacobies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And attach, you know, chips and all kinds of nonsense. And that's just a huge labor force they're going to have to hire. Do they? I, I don't... I mean... Or do you just take an existing tech, like, um, as they were saying in the chat, like uh-huh. something like, you know, a flash card, basically, uh-huh. install it in that, and then put it inside Dude. of a proprietary... Cartridge. Cartridge, and then make that fit. So you use an existing tech. So does the picture show a PCB? I I don't know that there is a picture. I don't think any of them leaked. They just... Just a cartridge. So as far as I know, it's just written documentation. So if it's not a Goldfinger cartridge with... Goldfinger. In typical fashion, (laughs) which cost a lot of money, which is what kind of pushed the the optical disc market. Right. Back in the nineties. Now when um, we were kids, I don't think it's Nintendo happen. and NES games, because of their cartridge base, cost upwards to seventy nine ninety nine. Easily. Very and easily. that was like a normal thing. Yeah. That's actually one thing that inflation has gone reverse on is games are cheaper now than they mm-hmm. ever were. Um <clears throat> yeah, seventy five bucks on a game isn't anything, but like the new DS cartridge is basically just like a flash memory type. Well that's funny. Thing. So yeah. Roger and the Star Wars guy both brought up in chat here, and I think they're good points that um you know, what if it's like a, a memory card, like a flash drive card, and then Star Wars, uh, you know, reiterates the point. That's um, still a higher cost than optical. Yeah, but I think that it's probably true because... Or, and a way higher uh, it, cost it than digital download. Unless we're thinking in the sense of maybe they're to be able to have a successful console, they are going to capitalize on the nostalgia of Nintendo fans, and they're going to call it just the Nintendo and it's going to have like a, a look that looks like an updated NES, but like all sleek and fancy. And mm-hmm. it plays cartridges. So, that, so we're all like, oh, fuck, it's like, you know, the 80s again. Like really play on the nostalgia. That's right. I would be maybe OK with this if they came at it with a 
a price point that was acceptable mm-hmm. and maybe they'd eat m- lose money and but that, i think that's okay because they've got like 80 billion dollars in the bank anyway so they could probably go sell at a loss for a few years i don't know i mean that's quite a gamble there there's got to be some type of there's got to be a reason <laughs> nintendo hacked our stream money. yeah probably yeah. so <laughs> you, let me just say this is just me spitballing and i think it'd be the coolest thing ever uh-huh bunch of businessmen in their fancy pants suits walk into this just gigantic warehouse with the biggest load of empty n64 cartridges you've ever seen (laughs) and they're like what are we gonna do with all these why did we make them all and somebody's like i got an idea (laughs) they're like let's just fill them up with the new game and they're like done they're already made i gotta say i know it's like everyone's like oh man that's so dumb i think it's kind of cool guys like it, and I'm coming at it from a nostalgia. That is very well, much your nostalgia. Speaking. I know it is. Let's, we can debate that, and we will. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think like it's not cool. But mm-hmm. it's like if I and they sold them in like dumb old school boxes, and they mm-hmm. were kind of shaped like NES cartridges. And maybe if they're small, I don't know. I would be like, <laughs> okay. If, okay. So if the box looked like an NES cartridge, but you open it up and there was like a flash thing in there, that would still be cool. Yeah, that's cool. Or yeah. or or. Since it was only seen, or from my knowledge, mm-hmm. this trademark was on the Breath of the, Wa- the Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. What if that's just referencing a special edition that they're going to release that comes on a cartridge, uh, just as a nostalgia sake for very well Zelda could. fans? Very well, could. that's that's good speculation. That's right good there. speculation. That's good speculation. Morning. Did we have uh, flash drives on the latest? Because I know that um, Nintendo's had bad experiences with releasing flash drives, mm-hmm. and so. Um, It'd just be weird to give people a format that they could uh, hack. That's why, you, you know what I mean? Do oh, you yeah. guys know oh, yeah, about how people yeah. were hacking yeah. games? Yeah, like, um, for example, so I remember when I sold my 3DS, I had one of the, like, the Gen 1 3DS, mm-hmm. and that thing, it never got used. Like, I was, it was after, like, they had the new Mario 64 came back or whatever, and uh-huh. then there was, like, a lull in games where it was, like, very Pokemon-based, and I was like, I don't need this, I'm going to sell it. So I went and I sold it to some guy, and I sold him all my games. And it was like a Craigslist transaction, so it's in a parking lot. It's always very shady. You know, you think you're a drug deal. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, you, you looking to get stabbed to death? And here's a weird thing. So he takes it, he puts in a game, and he, like, put in his own game. He's like, can I try it? And I was like, yeah, absolutely, man. Go ahead. So he puts it in, and he starts playing it, and he's like, have you ever seen one of these? And he holds up one of the, the emulator uh, uh-huh. flash drives that you put in or whatever that had, like, you know, a couple hundred games. Mm-hmm. And he's like, would you be interested in buying some of these? He's like, I've got some. He's like, we make them. Like, oh. I was like, buying my 3ds as we speak <laughs> like i'm just gonna take that money right and i'm gonna see you later <laughs> but not really but i see what you mean though it'd be very easy to to hack that kind of a technology or create something very similar and yeah i just think it'd be weird mm-hmm. when they had lost so much money last time they'd go with it again and i think but. roger's right uh, i think it's a last ditch effort to stay relevant in the console market by tapping into nostalgia mm-hmm. and i think that's probably what they're doing uh, I mean, that being said, they could just easily say, here's a new Mario. Download it now. Yeah. And I, uh, I'd be I'm like, totally... okay, oh, well, here's my Amex. <laughs> you know? <laughs> just run it. Whatever amount you want. Just run <laughs> yeah. it. Nintendo has a very, like, they, they're they very behind, obviously, in the console market. Mm-hmm. But they have something that Xbox and Sony just don't have. And that is, like, this crazy fan attachment to a small number of franchises that they mm-hmm. just monopolizing control where they can just dangle it in front of you you're like okay well, what's up Nintendo <laughs> and they do it over and over again until and you, they could probably do that for the rest of my life just dangle shitty consoles in front of me but if it's got mm-hmm. a fucking red hat on it and a fat stomach I'll buy it <laughs> Mario I'm talking about Mario yep, yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. never mind See, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway um, there's that yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't say from from a perspective of a person who has a couple little ones himself I would love to get away from cartridges. Oh, yeah, because, oh, yeah. like, yeah. Oh, especially if they're flash drives. <laughs> Where's my Mario game? <laughs> yeah. Find Mario yeah. in a diaper someday. Digital download all the way. Uh, it's, like, super shitty. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Awful. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, all right, what's next? 